Are dude perfect Christians? Yes, the dude perfect guys are all strong Christians. Check this out. We're all strong Christians. I think that's probably one of the things that binds us. If we lost everything tomorrow, it doesn't matter. We know that the most important thing we have is Jesus. And so it's very important to do perfect and the decisions we make and the content we produce. I think making content that's family friendly came initially from our faith in Jesus. And we felt like that was something we really truly wanted to do. Faith is really the underlying principle and theme behind everything Dude Perfect does. And after their live shows, they often share the gospel like this. Uh, the third question that we get quite a bit is how are you guys still friends after doing this for 13 years and mixing fame and business and money and all the things that come with that? And I think the answer we've arrived at is because uh, while Do Perfect is what we do, while that's our job, it's not who we are. It's not where we find our identity and our hope and our joy. And I think in today's culture, uh, especially for you young people, uh, the culture will tell you that you're only as valued uh, as how many social media followers you have, the number next to your Instagram, or whatever social media platform it may be. Uh, the world will tell you that you can find value in your job title, or the experiences that you have, or uh, how much money you make. And I think after doing this for 13 years, we've seen that none of those things in any amount compare to the joy of knowing Jesus Christ as our personal Lord and Savior. The world is a very broken place, and if there's a lot of sin in the world, and a lot of broken and hurting people, and uh, you can put us five in that same category. Even though we're called too perfect, I can promise you we are the furthest thing from that. We are very flawed individuals with our own problems and issues, just like anybody else. And thankfully for us, um, what we believe is a very uh, simple gospel that states that, hey, everybody's a sinner. We've got a built-in excuse. The Bible tells us that uh, everyone has sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. And thankfully for us, uh, Jesus came to the earth 2,000 years ago and lived a perfect life that we could not live and died on the cross for our sins. And all we have to do is accept that free gift. And that is the best decision that the five of us have ever made. here 13 years later um, able to do this and, and put on shows and continue to make videos and because that is our foundation of not only who we are but the foundation of our business and uh, how we try to win and so uh, I know that in a room this big there are people uh, across all walks of life and I would just say that to the believers in here just be encouraged and know that uh, God has you in a place that you are for a reason and that's to make an impact and love other people around you. And uh, those of you who may have no idea what we're talking about or have heard about Jesus but you're curious and you want to know more, uh, we put together a little video that you can just scan. It's a QR code you guys can take home and watch it in free time, uh, watch it as a family, whatever you guys want to do. Uh, but we just take the verses straight from the Bible and read it so you guys don't have to take our word for it. Uh, we go right to the Word of God and just show you where to find some of that stuff. So uh, thank you guys very much for coming out for our live show. I'm going to have one of you guys come out for the Lord, we just thank you for the people of St. Louis and beyond. I'm um, so, so grateful as Ty said for these families and how we've supported us for the last 13 years. And it's just our prayer um, that each and every one of them will come to know you the way that we have. Um, like Ty said, we know that there is no life outside of you. And we're so grateful for everything that you've done in our lives, Jesus. We just thank you again for these families, every single person in this room, Lord. We pray that you just bless them as they leave this place. And we pray. Amen. Alright, folks, one more time. Come on, guys. Wow.